Would you like a chance at a PlayStation 5 bundle? Well, there's a link in the description. You go to the video, leave a comment for a chance at one. And now, Death Clock Girl here, and welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking, and by grabbing some of my free ebooks and audiobooks. Today I'm promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series, and Monster of Monsters sci-fi horror. You can read or listen to the first two stories of both these series for free. I have left the link in the description and later on there will be one in the upper right hand corner. And now to this live stream. In this live stream I'm going to be taking you to a couple of floater hotspots. Um, you're looking for some so it's just a four list but these are very good spots. First, I will be showing you map locations, and then after that, I will be taking field trips to the four locations so that you can get a better feel, uh, feel of where these floaters are. And before I do that, I encourage you to go check out my Fallout 76 music videos, Social Radiation, and Drop the Bomb. The links are in the description. And now, our first two listings are down. Actually, let me give you a better rep map reference. Here is Vault 76. We're going to go completely south and then all the way to the east. We're going to be in this red section. And the first one up is called the Veiled Sun Dew grove so it's by this lake if you don't have the markers yet it's one of those pink forests and i did fast travel so i am not going to go enter as i said i will do the map locations first but i did get a little ahead of myself so let me finish up with the map then I will be taking you on a trip to the old mold quarry, old mold. I don't know, did they actually uh, quarry mold? Our third trip, so here's the sun dew, and you're just going to go a little north and then east to the old mold quarry. And then I am going to reference foundation, which is this uh, that's your big satellite building. And we're going to go north of that to a place called Solomon's Pond. And our final destination, let me reference Vault 76 again. Here it is. We're going to go north and then east to the giant alligator. And we're going to be going to a place called Willard's Corporate Housing. That is the best spot in my opinion, but let's go ahead and now we're going to be checking out the Veiled Sun Grove. So again, it is just north of Watoga. Here's the Watoga train station and we're in the um, lower right hand side of the map. As I said, it's one of these pink forest. I will not be engaging any hostiles if I can help it. I'm just going to be showing you the locations. This one's kind of tricky. You need to try to get into the middle of this location. And there's like a little lake. And yeah, you can get quite stuck. Oh, there's one now. There's a blue guy, but you can also find cranberries here if you're wanting to make uh, cobblers or stuff. All right, let me get a little bit further in. This is not the easiest one to get into. And in the center is this lake area. Now you're actually looking for 
these bubbles that are rising because actually you can see the little I don't know, it's an antenna or something maybe from one of them but they're different colors representing the different floaters and I am not going to go down there but you usually go down there you can try shooting from my location to wake them up you can try to go down there to wake them up these easily woke up um, one of the locations they didn't seem to want to come out so I don't know if it was a glitch or what but as you saw, there's at least one that is awake. So now, from the Veiled Sundew Grove, we're going to go follow the railroad till we get to Pylon V13. And then we're just going to go slightly right or east of it to the Old Mold Quarry. This next location has about, I think, three to five floaters. They are a fix. This is a fixed location, so this is a good hot spot. Again, cranberries are here. This next one is another fixed location, so they always spawn here. It is again off of a, a lake like structure, but this is very easy to get to. You're just looking for that building that's ahead of me, and the lake. Oh, there they are. The lake area is where they kind of hunt. Uh, if you're wanting some height, and uh, I don't think you even need the marsupial. You can climb up on this machine right here, I believe, and get it on the roof. They will float up to you, though, so it's not completely safe. And then you can also get a really good view of the location. So there is always at least three here, it looks like. So a nice hot spot, just not a lot of them. All right, the next location is going to be uh, north of Foundation. So you're looking for this mountain range area. And Solomon's Pond is just a little north of this range. It is a farm. Again, it has a little tiny lake. So I don't know if that has anything to do with floaters. Do they like the water? Floaters can also be just hanging out with super mutants. I think they're buddies. I really think floaters have just a, uh, a love of super mutants. Even the, mute, the hounds seem to like the floaters. They get along really well. There's one right there. Let me get on top of this barn. Oh, there's a coffin. <laughs> Alright, so we have one out, two out, usually three. There's usually, oh, there's the blue guy. So there are usually at, always at least three here. Um, but I was thinking there are some bubbles here in this area. So you might be able to wake up more. Actually, no. Go this way. Then we go to that little house back there. On the back side, there are some more bubbles and such. I also thought there used to be bubbles in the front area around here somewhere. I do like the sounds that they make. There's some bubbles right here. I'm gonna go on the roof so you can see a little bit better. This is also a spawn location for the minigun. It's right there on the back of the trunk. Truck with all those barrels. Minigun. Um, so we have another orange one. A green one. And I thought another blue one. Yeah, right back there. So if you can get them to wake up, there's a possibility of six floaters in this location. Again, I did have some problems at the uh, corporate housing to get them to wake up. So I don't know if it was a glitch or just that particular location. Again, I'm not going to try to wake them up. I'm going to try not to engage them. All right. And those are the three locations. And now I'm going to go to a location that usually always has about four or more. So I like, I particularly like this location the best for going after floaters. 
I fast traveled first to my tent because it was free and now I'm going to flash travel to the location. So again, you're looking for the giant alligator at the very, very top of the map. Here's a better look at the top of the map. Right next to the giant, or the uh, giant alligator is actually Wavy Willard's Water Park. So if you have that location and not the corporate housing, you can tra fast travel there and then go to the location. If I remember, I'm going to show you the route that I usually go that I like better, but let's go directly into the Willard's corporate housing so you can see the fast travel point. If you have any really good floater locations, throw them in the comments. I'd like to compile a really good long list of them. These are hot spots. So these are ones where they always, oh, all right. Actually, I don't need to show you the Wavy Willard version because yeah, it's right here. I just usually go to the swimming pool at Wavy Willard's and then walk this way to this road. You have one trailer up top there that you can get on top of and this other depending on where the floaters decide to congregate and here comes a red one or orange one. He's a vile. So we got the orange one, we got a blue one over there, and we got, I think, two or three just hanging out right over there. Let me see if I can get closer without being spotted. So yeah, there's three. So there are five usually hanging out that are above ground. Then we have a blue, a green bubbles over there orange bubbles over there so if you can wake them up there's about eight here this is the place where I had problems getting them to even have any interest the way you do it is you used to you could just shoot right at the ground or go oh there's another one that one I think is another orange so up to nine up oh, as I was saying usually you can just shoot at the ground and they'll come up because you disturb them but that was not working the other day for me. And hopefully that was just a glitch. I think I, we even walked over top of the bubbles is another method. All right. As I said, if you have any really good floater locations, throw them in the comments. I'd like to compile a really good list of them. Um, if you have any general Fallout 76 questions, you can throw them also in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Hopefully he hasn't spotted me. <laughs> he's pretty close. I think he's making noises. I... Oh, got spotted. Let me take off. Here's a tip. Either I can outrun them and they'll go back to where they were going. Or I'm going to take them to where the Scorch are and they can become friends amongst themselves while I continue going. So then hopefully I can find a nice little spot to finish up this video. Alright, I think they're becoming buds now. So yeah, you could always use the environment to help you out. Especially if you're just starting and you're a low level, you might get over your head with the enemy horde or something. Okay, I think this might be far enough to finish up my video. Yeah, they spotted me. All right, again, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Looking for more floater locations. Um, I don't have any indoor ones. Um, all these are outside. And of course, this location at the uh, corporate housing, I think, is the best one if you're needing quite a few of them. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching and happy gaming. <laughs>